Hello everybody, Power here again for another video. And I know you guys think that I sound weird, and that's because I'm kind of having a cold. And background is different because I'm in my bathroom. So you might hear something over here. So, yes, I'm here today to talk about the new Persona 5 trailer. It was announced during last. Well, early today during the Sony's pre TGS conference, they announced a bunch of games like a new Yeast game, the Sky 5, Yakuza 0, uh, Dragon Quest Heroes, I believe. But this game, this game definitely caught my eye. Now, when, I, when they say we got a new game from Alice, that will be coming to the PS4 when they say this is coming to the PS4 and also coming to the PS3. I was like, please, Atlas, don't do this to me. I was thinking, like, please. When I saw that, Atlas was, was like, please don't. And then when I saw the, the PCOs, were like, please don't, don't do this, don't do this. And then I saw the train with the freaking. As we can see the main character, well, supposedly main character of Persona 5, because uh, there's probably be another picture right here that also shows that on the website one of the ball chains have been broken, while the other four still tap. Now that could probably like most likely be. Or two things. One, the character that was in the trailer is actually the main character, but actually one of the main side characters. But it's most likely the main character because of Persona 3, main character, came on the train. Persona 4, main character came on train. So now Persona 5 characters came on train. And the second thing, oh, the second thing is that, uh, it could be that we have more of the characters that will be revealed. Now, uh, th these are just theories that some people have came up with, but those are some highly uh, probable trend, probable theories. But I, I can't wait to get this game to come to both PS3 and PS4. It was originally a PS3 exclusive, but not anymore. Both PS3 and PS4, so get the best of both worlds, I guess. Uh, there also has been theories, well, the theory that uh, that flame that comes up at the end of the video might be a way of how they get their personas or how they go into the world to fight the uh, shadows. We don't know yet. Still do. Got about like two, three weeks until TGS, and now it's still close to the Now, the game has been moved into um, winter 2014 to 2015. Now, it's not, it's not sure if it will be early 2015 or mid 2015 since it's coming to both PS3 and PS4. Hopefully, it's early. 2015 because like all they had to do is like upscale the graphics and then put it onto the PS4 and probably like put an extra button like from like the LV and R3 onto the touchpad maybe I don't know like main character he looks pretty awesome he has glasses like I like Persona 4 so we can't figure where he had to go into the world to wear glasses he actually wears us all the time. But I wanna know what's gonna happen. If I have a logo man, it look looks awesome. Like, I wasn't expecting that kind of logo like that was to be like, more creepy. And the main character actually looks normal. So yeah, like before we had a guy with blue hair and like a guy with silver hair. I was a guy with red hair, like crimson hair, but nope, not regular, but black hair guy. 
So I'm okay. I'm I'm alright with that. So uh, if guys uh, like what you see, please uh, hit that thumbs up button, and subscribe, and uh, don't forget to check out the links down in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Wow, yeah.